Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is my best friend, Mika. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. And this is our car, the Blippi Mobile. Yeah, the Blippi Mobile takes us to amazing places where we have awesome adventures. I wonder, where will we go today? Jump in the Blippi Mobile. Jump in. We're playing and learning along the way. Hey, adventures, come this way. It's Blippi and Mika's ultimate road trip. Yay! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is my best friend, Mika. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. And this is our car, the Blippi Mobile. Yeah, the Blippi Mobile takes us to amazing places where we have awesome adventures. I wonder, where will we go today? Jump in the Blippi Mobile. Jump in! We're playing and learning along the way. Hey, adventures, come this way. It's Blippi and Mika's ultimate road trip. Boing! 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 <laughs> Boing. Boing. <laughs> this is fun! I love bouncing! Hey, why are we bouncing, Mika? <laughs> because we're pretending to be kangaroos! My jam pack is my kangaroo pouch! I love kangaroos! Me too! I would love to see a real one! <gasps> Aren't kangaroos from Australia? Ooh, maybe. <gasps> Let me check my world map. Hmm. You're right, Blippi. Kangaroos are from Australia. So cool. Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Road trip! Hey, friend, do you want to come with us? All right. <laughs> awesome. I'll check the maps I've got in my jam pack. Meet you at the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> B L I P P I M O B I L E. Click, click, put your seatbelts on. Get ready for a ride. We're gonna have some fun in the Blippi Mobile. We'll drive away, finding new adventures. We'll laugh. According to my map and compass watch, to get to Australia, we'll need to fly over the Pacific Ocean. All right. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. <gasps> Look, down there in the ocean. See all those squiggly lines? Those are reefs. They are made up of rocks and coral. According to my map, that's the Great Barrier Reef. Ooh, I see something. There it is. I see Australia. And I know the perfect game to play while we fly there. <laughs> What's outside your window? Hey, friend, do you want to play What's Outside Your Window with us? Awesome. Oh, you can look outside. Oh, close your eyes. Imagine, imagine what you see. A monster truck! A plane! Who knows? What's outside your window? Okay, I'll go first. <gasps> that really cool white building with the huge shells on the roof is the Sydney Opera House. What do you see outside your window? And what sound does it make? Awesome! Australia is so big! Hang on, kangaroos. We're on our way. Look, Mika, down there. I see red rocks, bushes, and a small pond. Yeah, I bet this is where the kangaroos live. Woo, there's a man in a Jeep with a microphone. Let's land and ask him. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is my best friend, Mika. Nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Dr. Duncan, 
Welcome to the outback, one of the world's largest natural areas. Whoa! Hey, we want to learn all about kangaroos. And their pouches. Can you help us? Absolutely, Blippi. I can tell you lots about kangaroos. In fact, we're actually on a wildlife preserve where all kinds of animals live. How do you know so much about the outback and the animals that live here? And why do you have a microphone? I'm a zoologist. I study animals, and this microphone helps me record their sounds. Wow! That is so cool! Sometimes the best way to find wildlife is just to listen close and follow your ears. Hey, I know the perfect game we can play. What's that sound? Yeah! Do you want to play too? Awesome! What's that sound? Follow your ears, what do you hear? A honk, a splash, or even a roar! Listen all around for the sounds today! Okay, let's listen. Whoa! There's a whole family of kangaroos! <laughs> what do you hear? That is awesome! Careful not to get too close. Kangaroos are wild animals, and it's safest to keep a distance. Oh, they're so cute! What are those sounds the kangaroos are making, Dr. Duncan? A kangaroo makes this sound as a way of talking to the joey in their pouch. His name is Joey? Ha! <laughs> Kangaroo babies are called joeys, but that's not their name. A joey is just another word for a baby kangaroo. So cool! Do any other animals have pouches? Oh, sure. Possums, wombats, wallabies, koalas, and a few others too. Animals who raise their young in pouches are called marsupials. Marsupials! So cool! There's actually quite a few marsupials who are from Australia. In fact, I was just going to check out an area where some koalas like to hang out. Would you like to follow me and see them too? <gasps> yes, please! All right, follow me! Quokkas, koalas and hopping kangaroos Whoa. Dance to the sound of the didgeridoo With the babies in a pouch like the little front pack Clickety-clack, it's the sound of the outback Short hair keeps them cool Bushy tails and cute little paws. Let's give these animals a round of applause. What are they called? Marsupials? Yeah. Quackas, koalas, and hopping kangaroos. Dance to the sound of the didgeridoo. With babies in a pouch. Just like a little front pack. Yeah. Clickety clack. It's the sound of the outback. <laughs> hey, Blippi. Dr. Duncan is parking near that big rock and those tall trees. Koalas are tree dwellers, which means they live in trees. I can hear them up there with my microphone. Hmm, I can't see them. That's because the koalas are behind the leaves. Huh? I know how we can see them. That big rock is as tall as those trees. Let's go up there. <laughs> I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs, confirmed. <laughs> Climb in, Mika, and we'll bounce up there. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Dr. Duncan. Thank you. Bye. Let's go. Boing. Boing, <laughs> boing, boing. Boing. <laughs> boing. Whoa. I love bouncing. <laughs> Me too. Whoa. From the top of this rock, I can see the koalas. I see them too. Hey, koalas. What's up? <laughs> oh, look! That one has a baby in her pouch. Aw, so cute. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear them too. Would you like to listen with us? Cool. I can hear them. That one has a really deep voice. That one's munching on a leaf. Hey, 
That means they like eating leaves. <laughs> oh, she yawned. Looks like she's taking a nap. Getting a closer look at things can give you a better understanding of them. Yeah. Huh. She's making me sleepy. Let's head back to the clubhouse. Good idea, Mika. Let's go. <laughs> I love seeing the unique animals in the outback. And we learned a lot, too. It's been so much fun learning new things today. What did we learn today? Learning is so cool. One, two, three. Can you tell me? I learned that animals with pouches are called marsupials and that lots of them live in Australia. Yeah, and I learned that koalas like to eat leaves. I also learned something else. What's that, Blippi? I learned that Australian animals are super cute. <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. Wait, I have an idea. Let's have another road trip real soon. Great idea, Mika. And you're invited too. Bye. Bye bye. Jump in the Blippi Mobile. Jump in. We're playing and learning along the way. Hey, adventures, come this way. It's Blippi and Mika's ultimate road trip. Yay! <laughs> this podcast is executive produced by Moonbug Entertainment and Wheelhouse DNA. You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi Rooney, it's me Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, 
I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You've reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Nemo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Fetch, Debo. Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. Good question, Nebo. Hmm, I wonder, where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wings, frog legs, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. 
I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. <laughs> Me too. Whirlpool! Whoa! Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Look how small huh? I am. Shrinking down. Wow, Wayne, you're so small, we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa! Whoa. 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 <laughs> Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne, you're tiny. Yup, <laughs> even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle. <laughs> oh, boy! Here we go! Ah, there! My sand castle's complete! Ha! Ah, I did it! My dream came true! Thanks for being a gem during my erosion! It was a blast! And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye Goodbye! See you later! <sighs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Blippi! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Do you wanna have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Summer is here, let's go and play I wonder what fun we'll have today Let's play catch with a ball and glove Summer is the season that I love We can splash in the swimming pool Come on, Blue, you can join in too I'm excited, I can't wait Just remember to hydrate Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun Yeah! Yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Oh, hey there, sun. Hey there, Blippi. When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas, which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload, answer, Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the Blippi mobile, me and Debo. Debo behind the wheel Fun in the sun playing on our speakers Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah Summer is my favorite time of year The sun shines bright and the sky is clear I'm excited, I can't wait Just remember to hydrate Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun This is so much yeah, fun! Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in 
the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need Wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Sure is hard. Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon. That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk incoming! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? <laughs> cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny huh? holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what 
was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Ha -ha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh. Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo, she's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippy and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. Uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again! Oh, thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa, you use your beak to build it. 
the mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. We found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? Oh, come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. This is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> okay, now watch. we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, <Huh>? yummy walnut. <laughs> we can't find any acorns. That's right, because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts in other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Bye-bye! <laughs> keep digging! <laughs> The big Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it! Right, Debo! I think it is helping build the building. Hmm. I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea! We'll go talk to the crane! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs! Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. <laughs> I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Got 
gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness! Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes left heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Devo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. Look at those ducks floating in that pond! Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky, ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a stuck stew paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. It must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. <coughs> it's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. <coughs> Here again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon! Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry. We have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So ducks float. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Mmm, 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 salad. <coughs> oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. 
Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth! Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth! You're right, Tabs! We need a way to clean these teeth! Would a brush help? Hi! I'm Bill Brushy! And you are? Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Tabs! I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth! Well, you're asking the right brush! Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth! Alright! Hey, Bill Brushy! Is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right. Let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. <laughs>